Hi, welcome to Ray at the Movies. And today we're going to do, for the 31 days of Halloween, which is kind of perfect, the name of the movie, The Pumpkin Man. This is a movie that came out September 5th, 2023. This is a low-budget direct-to-video movie. Excuse me for a minute, I need to have some tea. And um, it's a very fun movie. Uh, I like uh, I like uh, director video movies that are on low budget, and this is on a low budget. I think the director does a good job of how he films the scenes and how things are done, especially with the sound. Is it a perfect movie? No. But it is a fun movie that will entertain you. You will not be bored. And the cast is pretty good at acting. They do a pretty good job. The special effects are as good as they're going to be for a low budget film. And makes me want to see more of his work. Now, he did do, by the way... A bunch of short uh, films called The Pumpkin Man, and also other spin-offs, more movies, and short movies. And I kind of hope when I get the Blu-ray, because I like the movie that much, I'm going to buy it, that they have those short films on there. So let's go into it a little bit more. The cast is Abstein Abdo, Matthew Beaton, Barbara Desai, and these are all, by the way, their first films. They've done a lot of short films, but... This is our feature debut. Stephen Narves, Forest of Death, Children of the Pines, Abduction Chronicles, Cruel Summer 3. That's, I meant Stephanie. Ariel Tyler, first movie. Of course, directed by Ryan Sheets, first movie. Um, and then it's written by Ryan Sheets, Janine Jen, Muchmore, Jeff Rhodes, Nick Romeri. And uh, here's the uh, story synopsis here. It is, Stor Cromwell is a town interwined with that of a local legend, the Pumpkin Man. People don't believe the tales, but when Catherine discovers the missing piece of the legend, she and her friends will face with the demon of fall, Curvis. The town's history is interwined with the Pumpkin Man, a local legend. Most of the people don't believe the tales, but when Catherine Quinn discovers a missing piece of the legend she and her friends become face to face with Kerbis, the demon of fall trivia here's the trivia the kid with the hat covering his face is the first classroom scene is director ryan sheets playing his fourth role of the film he also plays paul the skeleton and the pumpkin man multiple times throughout the film little boo a pumpkin from halloween horror nights can be seen the clown in the selfie videos is Creepy the Clown from the original short films. The name Hank Carver is a reference to the wicked growth realm of the pumpkin from Halloween Horror Nights. His pumpkin patch says it was established in 2016, which is the year the first Pumpkin Man short was f released. film was released. A poster for the witch in season can be seen in Catherine's room. This is the film by Witch and Season Films, who the director is friends with. A character, is, a character is also wearing a shirt from their other film, He Never Left. The same chapter can later be seen wearing shirt for Slash or Lantern Part 2 by other friends. Lunar Light Cinema. The song inside the machine in the end credits was licensed as a tribute to Halloween Horror Nights at which the song was also played. The original Pumpkin Man mask from the short film in what is what Jenny is wearing to scare Tina and Michael. It is later. It can later be seen in Catherine's room. Brent played by the director's wife, Jenny M Mushmore. The character of Michael is named after Michael Kayon, the actor who played Creepy the Clown in the original Pumpkin Man short films. I give this one four out of fives, and you're wondering why I'm wearing a different shirt and why I jumped from my room to here is there was a glitch in the video and it froze right after I said by other friends and that's when it died so I continued Lunar Light Cinema so with that it went from the original date that that was recorded to now I apologize for the inconvenience I really like the film I really like a lot of the film that Screen Releasing is doing uh, they did The Barn, The Barn 2, I've seen both of those, and loved it, and I love The Pumpkin Man. It's a really fun movie. Yeah, it's low budget. Yeah, the special effects 
are as good as they're going to be because it's low budget. But like I say, I don't mind these direct-to-video movies. They're a fun watch. So with that, give this movie a chance. Because even though a movie is low budget, sometimes, excuse me, if done right, you can enjoy it. If done wrong, then you're not going to enjoy it. So with that, I'm out of here. You have a good rest of your day. And this, of course, was part of the 31 days of Halloween. Have a good one. Bye.